I'm outside of Vienna for the launch of the brand new, all new 2024 Mercedes E-Class sedan. Now we know the world is crazy about SUVs, but for Mercedes-Benz sedans are a big part of the equation. And the E-Class historically has been their best-selling vehicle. So this is a very important car for Mercedes-Benz. Now in Canada, we're getting two models. We're getting the 354 Matic, which is a two liter turbo charged car. And this is the 454 Matic, which has a straight six turbocharged. And both cars now have a 48 volt mild hybrid system. So it's a beautiful day. There's some great roads around here. So let's go for a drive and see what they're like. To these eyes, the new E is a visual success. Granted, it's not a real head turner, but there's a quiet, timeless elegance to this sedan. It is long of hood, short of tail, and with its minimal front overhang and smooth flanks, the E draws on the past, but also looks distinctly to the future. All Canadian models get AMG body styling as seen here. The grille sports a massive central three-pointed star, surrounded by a repeating pattern of smaller stars. And that's a design motive we're seeing a lot in current Benz products. The taillights get the star treatment too. Optional will be an illuminated grille surround. This 454 Matic pre-production model rides on 21 inch 15 spoke alloys, which is the largest size on offer. Under the long hood with the traditional Benz power bulges sits a three liter inline turbocharged six cylinder putting out 375 horsepower and 369 pound feet of torque. The 48 volt mild hybrid systems integrated starter generator motor gives improved fuel economy and torque fill and the latter basically smooths out dips in the turbo engine's power delivery. Power routes through a revised nine speed automatic to all four wheels via Benz's formatic all wheel drive. It's a strong, smooth and tractable engine and well not as eager or creamy as the three liter straight sixes from rival BMW. It motivates this new A-Class with refinement and authority. Now the two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine in the E350 also gets the 48 volt mild hybrid treatment. Power output is pegged at 255 horses and 295 pound feet of torque. Compared with the preceding model, the 2024 E-Class is slightly wider, taller, and gets a two centimeter wheelbase stretch. This translates to an extra five millimeters of headroom for the driver, more shoulder room, and rear passengers enjoy an extra 17 millimeters of leg room. Yes, this is a beautiful cabin, especially trimmed in the new for 2024 saddle brown perforated hide. Sweeping across the top of the dash and into the door cards is the new active ambient lighting strip that, among other things, will dance to the music with pulses and color changes. On a more analog level, all these get standard open pore wood trim. Now, standard issue for this car is a 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster and a 14.4 inch central screen. But optional is the super screen. And therefore you have the uh, screen for the passenger, which you can call up games, infotainment, movies, um, all kinds of stuff. So your uh, passenger can essentially ignore you while you're driving. And if you happen to look over like this at the screen, the screen dims. So you can't actually watch it and that, that makes your passenger even more annoyed, which is fantastic. Any vehicle with this much baked in technology is a learning curve on wheels. That said, if you simply want to just jump in, this new E4Matic is basically plug and play. Familiar to Ben's customers will be the delicate electronic shift wand on the steering column and the ergonomically sound door-mounted seat controls that also feature hard buttons for seat heat and ventilation. Nice. There's no volume knob to be found here, just haptic sliders on the steering wheel and dash. A well-marked haptic panel gives access to most HVAC functions and of course, the voice in the dash who responds to Hey Mercedes will do her best to accommodate your every wish. The 2024 E-Class is the first vehicle to get Benz's all-new electronic architecture. This system uses a single in-house processor that significantly streamlines and speeds up computing functions for all aspects of the vehicle. The new E-Class is currently Mercedes' most technologically advanced car. A new digital key function, which is initially just for Apple users, has your phone acting as a car key. And once set up, the all-seeing driver-facing camera uses facial recognition to call up the driver's profile. Up to seven different profiles with a total of around 800 parameters are possible. So, is the 2024 Mercedes E-Class comfortable? Well, thank goodness it is, because isn't that what we expect from this Stuttgart automaker? The new E has not lost sight of its prime directive, providing a coddling and luxurious motoring experience. The core elements are all here. A marvelously hushed cabin, creamy smooth ride, well contoured seats, here with massage and ventilation, and an overarching sense of solidity and well-being. 
This tester was fitted with the optional technology package that adds adaptive air suspension and rear wheel steering, the latter significantly reducing the sedan's turning circle. While some competitors emphasize the sport in their sedans at the expense of comfort, Mercedes knows its audience. That said, the 450 is not averse to a bit of hustling. It's a quick car with decent body control and the 9-speed auto responds instantly to paddle shifter commands. True enthusiasts will wait for the inevitable AMG version. Well, after a day of driving this brand new E-Class, it's quite evident this is a classic Mercedes. It's beautifully appointed, it's quick, it's very quiet, and equipped with this optional air suspension. The ride is just beautiful, even in sport mode. So this is what you're getting. You're getting the classic Mercedes experience. Not a lot of sport, not a lot of noise, just a lot of comfort, and a lot of technology for that matter. This car will be arriving in Canada the first quarter of 2024. No pricing yet, but uh, currently the 350 formatic starts at about $70,000, and the six cylinder 450 formatic starts around $80,000. So you can you can figure this one is gonna be up from that a little bit. Um, but anyway, I'm going to uh, turn on my seat ventilation and um, continue this drive. For driving.ca, I'm Peter Blakeney. Oh, but first I have to um, ask Mercedes something. Hey Mercedes. Yes. Tell me a joke. Sorry, my engineers were German. Oh, that's a good one.